It's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, it's Friday, so it's Dollar Tree Friday. Um, this haul is going to be full of fun, bright, brand new summer finds that I cannot wait to share with you. Um, a couple other, like, brand new finds, and then a couple um, DIY ideas in case you want to, like, do some patriotic crafting with me. So, as always, I love to start my hauls with my most favorite things, and it has to be these brand new water bottles. <gasps> Look how cute these water bottles are. I love them. Look at the lemons. Look, and it goes all the way around. Look at the beautiful, like, teal turquoise. This is like a teal or turquoise color lid. I love this. It says that it's BPA free. So I got the lemons, and I also grabbed the watermelon. Look how cute these water bottles are. They also had one with um, pineapples and like palm leaves on it, but I just grabbed these two right here. I wish they had a strawberry one. I would have scooped that up. But these two right here are so bright and fun for the summer. I found the cutest new, <laughs> if you're new here, I say cute a lot, I'm so sorry, but I found the cutest new bags. Look at this one right here. I mean, uh, hello Golden Girls. I love this. Um, the palm leaves, uh, it's like Blanche Devereaux's bedroom. Look at this. I love it. It's a really good size little tote. Um, if you go to like farmer's markets, um, a lot of stores, now you have to like bring your own bags, something like this, keep it in your trunk. Look how cute. I love this one. Let's get that. And then I also grabbed the lemons. Look how bright. Seriously, all this stuff is just so bright and fun. See the lemons? I mean, both sides. I just, I love this pop of yellow. So pretty. So I, y'all, I love yellow for the summer. Love this bag. And also, I am wearing my Dollar Tree t-shirt that I found a few weeks ago. Um, I think it's like that Gildan brand that they got in. But it's so soft and I love this color. So I just thought, especially as like I'm starting to like get like, you know, color and stuff for the summer. I just thought wearing this shirt in this video today was perfect. All right, I have two more bags to share with you. And look at this bag. I mean, it's that Juncture brand, but look how big this is. I love this. Look at the print. I mean, look how fun and bright this is. Uh, let's see if I can open this without tearing the bag. I mean, this is a really big, good size bag. Look at this. I mean, look how deep this bag is. And this would make like a wonderful gift to someone. Like put their present down in here. Look how cute. Um, Like the end of the school year is like quickly approaching. This would be like a fun like teacher's, like, um, like a teacher gift. You could get them a bag like this. Maybe put like a beach towel down in here one of these cute water bottles, um, some cute little sunglasses from Dollar Tree. You could just do all kinds of cute stuff to put down in here for like a teacher gift or just any kind of gift. But I love these reusable bags. Okay, and then I had to get this one because happiness grows here. I love it. Look at the beautiful like teal teal colored truck. You've got a, a bee right here. I love the gingham up here, this gingham plaid up here. But look how pretty this bag is. You've got that same color. I don't even know what color that is. <laughs> um, is it like a seafoam green? I don't know, but look. Look how pretty this bag is. I love these bags. And these are a really good size, but Dollar Tree doesn't put sizes. But they have out the best summer signs I've ever seen Dollar Tree do. I mean, oh my gosh, it's a watermelon. 
and it says sweet summertime look at that i love this and the sweet and the time does have a glitter all over it and then summer is outlined in a glitter i love this you could um for me i always say you know, put it on a wreath but you could add a bow to this you could get a little plate stand from dollar tree or like the little picture holder stands prop this up on your counter I love this watermelon and they also had a lemon I cannot believe it this one says squeeze the day squeeze is outlined in glitter and the day has a lot of glitter look how cute these are I mean seriously okay um I don't even know which one I like the best I guess the watermelon I seriously I don't know they are both so cute all right which one do you like the best which one's your favorite all right you know what which one would you like to see made into a wreath so we'll do that and whichever one has like the highest vote i will make a wreath we will do a wreath together using one of these signs so either watermelon or lemon okay so then i don't know if this is brand new but it's the first time that, like i've noticed it they have a watermelon and strawberry tablecloth. Look at this right here. Um, it says it has, it says Piva. <laughs> it was Piva or Peva with a flannel backing. But let's open this up. But I love the print of it. It is, oh, it's oval shaped. So, I mean, I'm not using this for a table. But it's oval. You know what? Kind of feels like a shower curtain liner. Look at that. That is so pretty, y'all. Seriously, you can craft with this right here. Um, scissors, cut out the watermelon, cut out the strawberries. You can mod podge this onto any sign. Anything that you're making, you could um, cut it out like a cute little scrapbook like backing or something and make a little picture out of it i mean <laughs> i have all of these ideas i'm hoping that we can do as many videos as possible including all these different crafts because i have so many ideas for this stuff especially i am a strawberry girl so i love it look at these strawberries right here Seriously, I mean, a tablecloth. <laughs> and it says, it's, I don't know. It says a flannel backing. Um, that's not flannel, but it's, it does have like some kind of little backing. So it's kind of thick, so that's good. All right, speaking of being a strawberry girl, look at this notebook. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest notebook I've ever seen. Look at that. I mean, strawberry shortcake to a T. This reminds me of my childhood. I love it. And it says that it is made by um, Greenbrier. So hopefully you will find this like over, you know, you know, like the school kind of section where they keep all the pens and notebooks and everything. But seriously, this is so cute. I love this right here. So it is wide ruled with 70 sheets of paper. But I just think this is so cute. And I can use this for like my summer like crafting and project ideas. Because <laughs> with my memory, if I don't write stuff down, I forget about it. Sometimes I have to go back through old videos to remember what I said. So I need notebooks to kind of like help keep myself together. I grabbed these two. These are little um, DIY wind chimes. But... I grabbed two of the same one and it's a watermelon let's see like right here uh summer vibes i think i found a bigger <laughs> i've already hauled this see i don't remember <laughs> sad but true i don't remember um i mean i've hauled this before but i think it was a little big like but i think it was a bigger version this is smaller, and once again, and I got this. 
Yeah, I, I don't remember. But when, of course, so when I saw this, my thought was, you know, just to paint that up, like obviously like a watermelon or, or you can paint it like a lemon. Uh, you could always cut this top off. And now that I'm saying this, it does sound familiar. So maybe I, maybe I have bought it before. But anyways, see how cute that is? And if you wanted to turn it into a wind chime, it comes with all these different little pieces. And it comes with like the little, little chimes. And it also comes with paint. Okay, and then I found this. I think this is, I think it's like a wax warmer or like a tea light, but look at that right there. The little yellow, like a little flower back here. You can put like a candle inside there. And I guess like a little wax melt, you could do that. But you could turn this into like a beehive, wrap it with like rope or twine, and then put some little bees up here. Add a little, maybe like a little greenery to it, like a little black and white gingham bow. How cute would that be for a tear tray? That They also had pink and a blue flower, but I just grabbed this yellow one because it kind of just reminded me of like a daisy sunflower type thing. I found butterfly die cuts. And I think this is what Presley was talking about. She kept saying she wanted butterflies for her car. And this is what she was talking about. She wants to like hang them and put them like inside her car. But look at this beautiful kind of like a blue green color right there. You get 32 inside. I also found her this um, orange, which I think that's like what a monarch, monarch butterfly. So you got the orange. And then they also had this beautiful pink color right there. Um, I have never seen these before in person. Let's see, is this dark cut? I don't even know what that means. Ooh, right there. Look how pretty this is. Um, I guess she would like maybe bend it or something and then have it like, looks like it's like flying in her car. Like I said, I don't know exactly what she wants to do. If she actually does it, I'll take a picture and show you. But I mean, just beautiful butterflies. And it feels almost like a um, like poster board, like that kind of thickness. That's what it feels like. But these are so pretty. You've got big ones, kind of like a, a medium size. And then you also just have like a bunch of little ones. Okay. All those little cute butterflies. Um, if you do like scrapbooking, or I think people call it junk journaling, you could, these would be great to use on that kind of stuff. But my favorite has to be this blue-green color. I think that is a beautiful color. Ooh, so I was lucky enough to find my favorite loofahs. I love these loofahs from Dollar Tree, and these are the only ones at Dollar Tree that I will buy. It's the ones that have like this rainbow little strap to them, and it's from, it says, The Bathory right there. So if you see this um, rainbow little strap in this tag, these loofahs are wonderful. They last. They don't like after a few scrubs, they don't start falling apart on you. So I grabbed two of them. And I wish they had other colors because I would have bought one of every color. But these are the only two I could find. But I'm telling you, they are so soft, but they last. Like you can scrub as hard as you want and they don't start like, you know, like unraveling. But yeah, like I said, look for that rainbow little tag. So Riley is really into drawing right now. I'm the child, every day after school, he's coming home and he's drawing and he's, he's so precise and takes his time. So I got him this sketch pad right here. <laughs> the child loves superheroes. So he is like drawing and creating superheroes. So I'm kind of looking into like some summer programs and maybe something with art and animation for him but i thought this right here here it just says sketch pad and you get 40 sheets of paper but it's just you know just blank paper but i thought this would be really nice because it's a good size for him too i grabbed some more of my big clips i love these clips right here i actually got one in my hair right now holding all this hair up um these are great 
Preston and I both love these. Like the days that we don't wash our hair. Um, we just throw our hair up in a clip and you hop in the shower. So I love these. So I love these. Like I said, these are big. See how big that is? And they have a great hold to them. I found, I've never seen these before. It's um, soak off nail caps and you get five of them by Sassy and Chic. And let me tell you, I've only had one gel manicure in my life. Um, <laughs> it, it was the worst experience I've ever had because the nail polish would not come off. No matter how long we let them soak, what we did, we kept putting like, we had to use like cotton balls and aluminum foil we wrapped around it. Presley did um, nails for prom. But I thought these would be great in case she ever wanted to do like some press on nails again. Um, because where she works, she can't have long fingernails. So she has to keep her nails short. But for prom, she wanted like a long, she did like a French manicure. It was so pretty. Um, so I thought something like this, you could just like put your fingers up inside there and soak it. All right, more brand new finds. I found it's a um, soft comfort gel arch made in the USA. Look at that right there. It's arch supports and it's like a gel. Like it's really soft, cushiony. Like me, like I hold all my weight like in my heels. So like my flip flops, anything like the heels. <laughs> I always get like an indention because I rest back on my heels. So something like this to slide down into like your tennis shoe or something. Um, it says it's a men's size 7 to 13. I wear a size 9, so I got a big foot. But I'm sure you could, I mean, really. So I'm sure this would probably fit down in most shoes. But yeah, I mean, that that is very cushiony. That, like it says right there, made in the USA. And the good thing is uh, you get one pair. So you don't have to buy like one for each shoe. You actually get two in this package. Okay, and then I found it's called Pucker Up. It's by Yes Studio, which says it's a UK based brand, but a store that I went to. So if you're in Louisville, the Taylorsville Road store over by like Party City and TJ Maxx, they had all kinds of this Yes 2 brand, but it's a peach lip balm. But it says pucker up. And like I said, it's a peach. They had a couple other ones, which I took a picture on Certic because I don't remember the, the flavorings. But Presley, <laughs> her signature scent is either peach or strawberry. So when I see this kind of stuff, I always like to grab it for her. But um, let's open this up and see. Oh, look at the little packaging. See how cute that is? <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells like a big old peach. Wow. I mean, look at it. It looks like a tube of lipstick. Look at that. Uh, it looks like a white, it looks like white lipstick. I mean, seriously. But I mean, that is some serious peach. So I think she'll really like that. And it's just a lip balm, you know? I would put it on, but if I'm giving it to her, I don't wanna like rub my lips all over it. But, but man, I wish I would've grabbed a couple of these. Um, these were at the register. So when you go to Dollar Tree, check all of the registers, even if they're not open. I, I will still go and look at every single register because, you know, I mean, sometimes this kind of stuff is hidden up there. You would think it would be with the makeup, but sometimes it's just thrown up at the counters. <laughs> all right, speaking of Presley loving like peach stuff, I grabbed her, look at this little, it's called just a tech case. But look at the little peaches all over it. It's on both sides. Look how cute this is. And it zips, so you can open it up. Look, it's got like a little pocket in there. See that little pocket? I mean, how cute. And like, she could put like her change in here. She could keep like Tylenol, Advil, sinus medicine, you know, anything in here. And this would like just slip right down into her purse. So I got her the peach, but I got me the strawberry. <laughs> Look how cute this strawberry is. I am so happy that Dollar Tree is bringing in like strawberry stuff. 
but I just think these are so cute and so fun for the summer. Yeah. So if you have any other like suggestions or ideas of how to use these, let me know. <laughs> but I think these are adorable. So I also, I found the cable protectors. You put these like on your charge cord, like your um, cell phone, a computer charger, any kind of charger you have. But look at that. My gosh, it is a strawberry and a pineapple. So when the kids were younger, they were notorious for ruining chargers because they would just grab the cord and like pull it out like those are little tablets or like our cell phones. So these things right here are great. And if there's multiple chargers in the house, it helps you like identify whose charger is who. And that is something that we do in this house. Because <laughs> if you're gonna ruin a charger, ruin your own. But I got the strawberry and pineapple. So they also had a watermelon and I don't know what this little thing is. See how cute that is? And then <laughs> they had a peach and a lime. Look how cute these are. Um, I don't know if you're getting a glare. Let me open this up real quick for you. But I mean, look at this little peach. Look how cute that is. It has like a little face. And like I said, it just kind of opens. The back opens up. And then you slide like your cable, your charge cord down inside of it. But these are cute. And Riley, he has a bunch of superhero ones that kind of like line his charge cord. Presley has like a bunch of like little animals and stuff on hers. So mine is going to be fruit. And <laughs> I have a feeling she's probably going to want this little peach. This little strawberry is adorable. I love it. All right, I grabbed more of these stickers right here because I love the strawberries and watermelon on them. Look at those. Let me open this because of that glare. But these stickers, it's almost kind of like a hard plastic. This little strawberries and that slice of watermelon I mean, look at that strawberry. See how pretty that strawberry is right there? That little slice of watermelon. And I want to make a couple little strawberry signs. And I think these would be really cute, like onto a sign. Um, and last year we made like a little strawberry, um, like farmer's market little stand. You could do something like with this. You could put like one of these little strawberries onto that little farmer's market stand. All right, so some crafting ideas. One, this is a brand new find to the Crafter Square section. They have burlap. Look at that right there. See that? It is a row of burlap and it's 8.2 feet long. But, okay, let's open this up. Yeah. So it is just kind of a, look at that. It's just a row of burlap. Y'all, I saw the cutest, like, rustic-looking um, American flags at TJ Maxx one day, but they were $8. But <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I knew we could make those. Like, so we're going to make some of those rustic flags using this burlap. So I got this right here. Like I said, this is brand new. I grabbed some of the floral foam little disc. I love using these. For Christmas time, we made, like, big peppermints with them. But... I got these because I want to make some pies. So uh, the round shape, it's got a good thickness to it. So I want to make some like fruit pies for the summer. <laughs> some faux fruit pies. So I grabbed this. I also grabbed from the teacher section, the little foam circles. Um, last year we made pumpkin pies and like pumpkin pie slices using this right here. So if you saw that video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I want to do something like that again, but like using fruit. Um, so like I said, this is the teacher section right here. Okay, and then the last thing, um, right here, the little mini patriotic hats. Here's this right here. Grab you one of these because we are going to make some adorable toppers for our little marshmallow people. And that is something we're going to do next week because I'm so excited for it. So when you go to Dollar Tree, let me show you. 
you get, there's four. You get two red and two blue. See how cute? I mean, you can just pop this on your little marshmallow people. It's adorable. But I have some cute little ideas like that we're gonna add to these. And I'm so excited for it. So we're gonna do that next week. We're gonna do the little toppers and we'll probably do the, those little flags and stuff on the same video. But I'm excited for this right here. So if you're not yet subscribed and you wanna see like all this crafting stuff, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then ring the little bell and then click all. And we just did the cutest ladybug DIYs. It made like a little tear tray out of it. It was so cute. So if you did not see that video, I will link it down in the description box. And at the very end of this video, all you have to do is just click on that picture. It'll take you right to that video of the ladybugs. But I have found so many graduation things. I'm so excited because Presley, which is my 17 year old daughter, graduates high school next weekend. Riley graduates next week from the eighth grade. So we're gonna have two separate parties. So I have found like a bunch of brand new like graduation stuff. I'm gonna do a separate video on that in case anyone's like interested in like graduation stuff and maybe or, like maybe some like, centerpiece ideas. So we're gonna do that video. I've got a huge Dollar General haul. Um, I found all this stuff right before I got sick. So I cannot wait to do that because I want to decorate with it. It's all like sitting right here on my floor. <laughs> I got like yellow bags everywhere. So um, hopefully there's going to be a Dollar General haul this weekend. Um, so make sure you're looking out for that. And so next week is going to be patriotic DIYs and maybe like strawberries or watermelon. I haven't decided which one just yet, but I'm excited for it. But all right, if you haven't run out to Dollar Tree this weekend, I hope you find a lot of the stuff that you're looking for. Um, these little water bottles, like I said, they're so cute. And these would make a really cute, like, end of the year, like, teacher gift idea. Put some of that, like, the shred the Dollar Tree has. You can put some little sunglasses down in here, a little gift card if you wanted. Um, just make it really cute, you know? And if you like this video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. So you have no idea how much that helps a YouTube channel and how much we appreciate that. So, but all right, I will quit rambling. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Relax and take care of yourself. And I will see y'all next week for more crafting and shopping hauls. And like I said, look for Dollar General Haul this weekend. But all right, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.